Hi folks, thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Mark Reeves, president of Pavement Group, and I'm thrilled to be here with you today to show you our Stratos Asphalt Distributor. This is the DMS model. It's available in 400, 600, 1,000, or 2,000 gallon capacity. It's designed to be mounted easily onto a flatbed, essentially a bolt-on configuration, or if you want to chassis mount this, we will provide you with an optional subframe which you can see here, that will allow this to sit in a saddle that can easily be mounted to your chassis frame. Up here in the Albany, New York area, we do have a terrific uh, body shop, so we can mount this for you. If you're in the New England area, we can add a bumper to the back as we've done here to protect the spray bar, and we can add an access step and cover that gap between the back of your cab and the front of the machine. So let's talk about standard equipment that comes with this DMS unit. They're all going to be insulated, so you have two inches of ceramic wool that wraps the tank, which is wrapped with a really nicely finished aluminum outer shell. As you can see, the heads are painted. They are aluminum as well. You've got a couple lifting eyes in the top. Very important if you buy one of these and you mount it yourself, make sure you use a spreader beam when you grab those lift eyes so that you don't bend those eyes inward and crinkle the top of your tank. Let's take a look at some other standard features. These machines all come with a 50 foot half inch hose. This is made by Henne, top quality manufacturer here out of the state of New York. You have a hand wand. This is a spring-loaded reel, and you do have a hand wand. The hand wand has a valve on the back. Very easy for the operator to uh, hold on to and turn. The second handle clasps very nicely into this support mechanism built on your fender frame. And at the end, you have a valve that allows you to stop any drippage that you might have at the end of your, at the end of your, uh, your run. Other standard features on this system include the solvent tank, the solvent system that allows you to flush the system out. They all come, of course, with a ladder and the access to the double locking DOT style approved manway up here at the top. We do have an optional spray bar system on the unit. Actually, we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's go back to the standard features. They're all going to come with the thermometer on the back. Very easy to, uh, to see. So you can see what your material temperature is. A Beckett burner system. This is a diesel burner system. If we walk over to the front of the tank, again, we can see the solvent tank, which is standard, as I mentioned. There's a clean out here on the bottom. And if we make our way to the other side, well, we'll stop here at the back. So a Honda motor is standard with these. It's generally going to be a pull start motor. Electric is an option. They all have this clean out system. So you've got a strainer basket in here. Just open up the three wing nuts, pull these out. There's a uh, gasket on the top. Lift it, pull the strainer basket, shake it out, and reinsert. You'll see a valve on the bottom that isolates this from the pump. They come standard with a 32 gallon per minute Viking pump. There is an option for a larger 60 gallon pump. Here is your standard diesel fuel tank that's included with the system. Again, it has a clean out on the bottom. They will all have a box here that has your manual, your keys, if you have keys with your unit, and any, uh, any other, other hardware that um, is included with your machine, operator's manual and your uh, parts manual. They all have a thermostatic controller. This allows you to set the material temperature, a high and a low. And as far as optional equipment, this particular Stratos distributor comes with a uh, optional or was purchased with an optional computer monitor. So the computer monitor sits here on an adjustable pedestal. 
This customer preferred to have it in the cab of the truck, which makes a great deal of sense. We provide you with the wire to run it into your cab. In this case, we mounted this for the client. And you have basically the ability to turn the spray bar on and off with the switch here on the control panel. And we do have a complete video online that shows you how that computer monitor works and everything that it does. But the premise is that you can set you can set the desired gallons per square yard. You can input the number of spray tips that are operational. That information is fed into the computer along with the speed of the truck and the speed of the pump. And that tells the computer what your application rate is. It's going to tell the computer how far you've traveled in a linear basis and how fast you need to go to hit your target application rate. It also will record the last 10 sessions so that you've got a record of what you actually put down. So now let's go to optional features. So optional features would include probably the most important one that people request is a spray bar. The optional spray bars can be purchased 8 foot, 12 foot, or 14 foot. If you have the larger pump, the standard pump is a 32 gallon per minute, the larger pump would be a 60 gallon per minute, you could also have your spray tips at six inch intervals. These are actually set up at 12. And again, if you have the larger pump, you can go with six inch intervals. Plenty of pressure for that. Additionally, these spray bars are adjustable in height. You've got two jack stands back here to raise and lower the height of your spray bar. Another option would be the electric start Honda motor. If you go with the larger pump, which is the 60 gallon per minute, you will also have a larger motor, which instead of being the GX270, it would be the GX390. Other optional equipment includes the strobe light that you see at the top. And as part of the remote control system, you also have an air compressor. This air compressor charges this tank that you see here. The air tank provides the ability for the valve in the back to open and close. This is a pneumatically operated valve, and this is the valve that turns the spray bar on and off. Again, that is a remote control system, and that is an option that can be purchased with the unit. Everything is very nicely marked. You've got all kinds of arrows here indicating direction of flow. Makes it very easy for the operator to understand what's happening. In addition to that, all of the valves are numbered. All you have to do is refer to the chart which is here on the back of the unit, also in your manual, to tell you what the valve positions need to be for certain functions. And that pretty much wraps it up. We really appreciate your taking the time. I think uh, the only thing that I did miss is your burner controls are over here to turn the blower on and the igniter. They're both here on the side on this bank. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you have questions or you'd like to order, please give us a call at Pavement Group, 888-999-2660, or you can call us direct at 518-218-7676, and you'll also find us online at pavementgroup.com. Thanks for watching.